What's going on you guys, this is all Day Day one on the PS4 and I'm going to be giving you another Division 2 raid build video. And this build video is going to be mainly used for a support build, EMP build, and it's going to be used on Razorback. You don't need to necessarily use it on anyone else or any of the other bosses, it'd be better to have a DPS build if you have in your loadout. Or you could still technically use this build just to help support your allies or your team or whatever. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and go right into it. So first things first is for the specialist, it's not going to really matter which one you go with. I went with the sharpshooter just because of the fact that you get the extra headshot damage, reload speed and all that. Um, but you can also go with a demolitionist if you do want to go with an LMG or you can go with survivalist with uh, just because of the fact that you know you get the um you can heal you have a higher outgoing healing and then you have higher protection from elites and all that so i think in my opinion these survivalists would be the best option to go with um also you are probably going to be running an assault rifle at least that's what i was doing was running an assault rifle but um yeah any of the three really works just for the playstyle. now for the build in general we're going to go ahead and look at the gear. So as you can see, I'm using a P416 with Optimist and Extended Mag. So I get that 20% Extended Mag. And it's not that high damage at all. Like, it'd be better if it was in 20k, but it's 15.4. And that's because I don't have high weapon damage. Same thing with my military MK46. So MK46, the M60, and the M249, in my opinion, are the best um, LMGs to use. If anything, it would probably be best to go with the steady handed talent for an LMG just because of the fact that it says landing a shot as a stack of bonus 2% weapon handling max stack is 15 at max stack so each shot landed has a 5% chance to consume the weapon handling bonus and refill the magazine so it's nice because you won't have to worry about reloading but it's also really nice to have an LMG that has unhinged because you are going to be doing a lot less damage so that 20% extra damage while losing 25% weapon handling is nice if you can get optimized as well just so it can kind of synergize with this you're not you won't be having your um, LMG swing around too much because your weapon has, is only losing 10% weapon handling rather than a whole 25 now for the gear or before we get to the gear the sidearm I would highly recommend it doesn't matter what sidearm you're using as long as it has in rhythm in rhythm I would recommend in rhythm for pretty much any build whether it's a um, DPS build or tanky build or an EMP skill build or whatever in rhythm is really nice because it says while equipped enemy kills have a 5% chance to refresh active skill cooldowns and it can occur every 60 seconds so having that third talent on any of the three weapons is what I would recommend and then um, the transmission also the transmission talent for the third perk while holstered shocked and shock out blah, blah, while applied or while holstered shock applied to the agent transfers to an enemy within 10 meters and it can also occur once every 60 seconds so like for example if boomer is chasing you boomer hits you with the shock melee attack whatever he gets shocked instead so you won't get shocked you'll still take damage but he'll get shocked he'll be stuck in place for a bit and it's same thing works with the drones if there's a shock drone out there and it shocks you it'll instead it'll be the one getting shocked and not you now for the gear remember this is a pulse build it's an emp pulse build so we're not worried about any of the other skills so you're gonna want to run three piece of the uh, tip of the spear so I'm using or you can run four pieces just so you can get that protection from elites as well which is really nice but the reason why I'm running three pieces is well I'll explain it but tip of the spear you're gonna get that 20% pulse skill power and 20% cooldown reduction if you have three pieces the chest piece I have, it came with 230 skill power, which is really, really nice. And then I throw on that 43.6k uh, health, so I have more survivability. And then it has crit damage, which I, I don't need because I'm not doing any damage anyways. It would be better if you can get yellow, blue, and blue. So high skill power, high health, and high armor or high um, hazard protection. Or if you did get a red or yellow, blue, red, then it would be better if you got something like weapon damage or headshot damage probably weapon damage would be better now for my holster it came with 20 or it came with cooldown and then 351 skill power and then i just threw on that 23 percent cooldown reduction on it as well 
And then for the gloves, it came with 147 skill power and an 8% assault rifle damage, which I am going to end up increasing my assault rifle damage. I think I have one somewhere. Yeah, I have I have an assault rifle um, attribute with 12% assault rifle damage, so I'll be throwing that on there, which I would recommend if you... I mean, it also depends on which one you're mainly going to be using. Like I said, I would highly recommend using the assault rifle because you're not going to have to worry about reloading it as long as it does or as long as it takes with the LMG. Now for the mask, I am using a Channel Light Industries mask, but the one I would recommend would probably be like an Alps Summit armament. I don't think you can get Alps Summit armament actually, but the uh, Providence Defense would be a good one to use instead. The reason why I'm not using it though is because I have higher DTE and cooldown reduction with the Channel Light Industries. So in my opinion, the uh, attributes are a little bit more important than the actual brand sets itself so the attributes you do most definitely want to have though is cooldown reduction and dte higher uh, like 30 percent or higher dte if you can get 40 percent then that'd be great and then the talent you want to definitely get is surge so you get that 10 percent skill haste because 10 percent skill haste makes that cooldown just it's basically cooldown reduction and then my backpack i'm running I ended up getting this a while back, so that's why it's at 457 uh, gear score. I got, I bought this at a vendor like a couple months ago or so, but it has a 450 skill or skill power for the attributes, 14% cooldown reduction. So those two are very, very good. If you can get an Alps Summit Armament backpack, because it comes with 10% cooldown reduction and 5% skill power, but you can, if you also get it with two yellows, that would be the perfect backpack. The talents you want to have i would say safeguard is a good one and then for a passive would be the hard hitting just so you can get damage to elites 10 percent damage to elites as you can see right here the dte but aside from that i mean this is a really good backpack just because of the fact that you get the cooldown reduction and then two yellows and then um for my knee pads i'm also running surge talent the 10 percent skill haste providence defense and then I threw on that 11% cooldown reduction. I don't think you can get Alps Summit Armament knee pads. Um, yeah, so since I don't think you can, but if you can, then I would definitely go with that instead and go with Providence Defense Mask. But yeah, so this is pretty much everything I used in the raid. And then for your pulse, you do most definitely want to try to get radius mods because you're gonna have a pretty quick cooldown anyways like I'm at a 12 second cooldown two seconds off from the cap which is 10 seconds and then I'm using a chem launcher you can either run with a chem launcher or a revive hive the revive hive is gonna be a 10 second cooldown for me uh, just because I threw on two cooldown reduction mods and then a hive skill power battery and then but I don't need the hive skill power battery anyways if I can get something different than I would but regardless it's still fine and then yeah so these would be the only three skills i would recommend using is obviously the pulse because your build is based around the pulse and then a hive revive just in case if you have an ally go down you can just throw that on them and then cancel it five second cooldown for yourself and um chem launch is really nice too if you can have high heals so you could heal yourself or your allies especially when it comes to doing damage on boomer or not boomer um what is it called on razorback when you're at the backside, you could just throw a chem launcher on one of the, your allies and then just use EMP. I will show you guys a clip on the whole entire run of Razorback. It's not that, I don't think it's that long of a fight, um, but I'll show you how I basically utilize this whole entire build. But that's pretty much everything with this build. I know it's not like super well in depth. I wanted to get this out and I do have to go to work pretty soon. So I just wanted to make sure I got this video out just for you guys. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and recap basically everything I have. So you wanna make sure you have two talents on your either your mask or your mask and your knee pads have surge, skill paste, and then the cooldown reduction and damage to elites on your mask. For the backpack, you wanna make sure you got both yellows, so skill power and cooldown reduction, and then an Alp Summit Armament backpack so you get that extra 10% cooldown reduction. And then if you can get safeguard and damage to elites, that's even better. And then for the knee pads, like I said, surge, you want to definitely get for the skill haste and then 11% cooldown reduction. 
and then Providence Defense uh, knee pads would definitely be useful just for this. And then um, for the, what is it called? For the, obviously the three gear sets would be, or the three gear set pieces would have to be the tip of the spear because the tip of the spear is revolved around pulse. So if you can get pulse skill power, or if you can get three piece tip of the spear, you definitely want to get a high skill power chest piece with a good amount of um, defense. So like health and armor would be really good or hazard protection or weapon damage. Crit chance, crit damage, you're not going to need to worry about those because it's not going to really help you out. Gloves, skill power, and either assault rifle, LMG, depends on whatever weapon you're using. And then obviously the holster, skill power, and skill cooldown reduction. But anyways, that's pretty much it. If this video helps you guys out, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section as well, and I will try my best. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to show you the radius of the EMP before I, I show you the end of the clip, or show you the raid. So this is just the radius of the EMP. It can pretty much get the whole map, almost. Not the whole map, but you know, a very far radius. But yeah, that's pretty much it with this video. If this helped you out, go and leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to see any other builds, I do have a Merciless build that I will be making as well, or I'll be po posting a video on it as well later on. Um, go and leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is all day-to-day -day one on the PS4. Have a good day, good night, and enjoy the rest of the clip. So first things first is with this type of build, you're not going to necessarily have a lot of damage, as you guys can tell. Uh, you can take out ads, but they're not going to be anywhere as fast as, you know, being able to take them out with a high DPS build. So you definitely want to get paired up with someone who has high DTE, who can generally take out a heavy by themselves, but you can still, you'd still have to help them out. Your main job, you're primarily and prioritizing the drones. So everyone else in your team is not going to have an EMP. You are the one that's relied on using the EMP. As you can see, I ran in and used my EMP at the front of Razorback in between the boxes. And I stayed there. Yeah, it's it's it seems like a very easy job. Because it is an easy job, you're not really relying on doing damage to the wings. But you, like I said, you are relied on using your EMP anytime you have it and charging it to the max. You don't necessarily have to charge it all the way. You can hold it for three seconds rather than the four seconds. Just so you can, you know, you'll generally have all the all the uh, drones out the way. Um, but, you know, since you can't really kill the heavies or the tanks, you do want to make sure you are helping kill the adds regardless. Or at least suppressing them. If you can, try to hit the weak points of the grenaders because, you know, you can still break the grenaders' backpack and it'll it'll generally kill them. And as you can see, I'm running back using my EMP again. And if you do have safeguard... It's even better because you know you'll get the kills for killing the for killing the drones, and then you can drop a heal on yourself or drop a heal on your allies. And also another tip that you guys probably may have known or may have not known is if you're up right against Razorback right at the front, you won't get hit by his bombs. Now on the back side though, if you do go up to him or him or whatever it is, you're not gonna you are still gonna take damage. So only the front side in between those two boxes you won't get damaged. So an issue that can happen is the dogs. So if you don't know, the dogs can EMP you and your allies if you're too close. So I think it's probably within like 20 meter radius, 25 meter radius of the purple dog and you can get EMP'd once it's killed. With the yellow dogs, it's an even bigger radius. So you do wanna make sure you're kind of far away from the dog before that before you know you end up killing it um, or kill it way before the drones even spawn out because you are going to be EMP'd unless you have a pretty high hazard protection or disrupt or whatever um, protection resistance then it'll make it easier it'll make it you know it won't be as bad but aside from that you know it can be an issue because if you're EMP'd you are like I said you are relied on using your EMP so if you're EMP'd by the dogs you know, you're not going to be able to use your EMP and the drones are going to start flying all over the place, killing people. So it is going to be crucial that you do get picked up right away, though, if you do end up going down because of all those drones, because of the dog.
Yeah. The guy won. Before I forget to mention, it's probably going to be a good idea if you do run an LMG to reload it and then once yeah. it's halfway, once the white bar is about halfway or a little over halfway, just switch your weapon, it'll automatically get reloaded. Yeah, so do Don't worry. I got another two. Uh, four, four, four. Everyone on four for Danny, please. Four first. Four first. I got two seconds for EMP. Alright, EMP going out. Alright, uh, you should only be killing four. Go four. Alright. No, one is gone, I think, no? Everyone go to one next time, everyone else go to... Or only just go to four. He's trying to get his fucking grenade, but he's fucking tucked up and rolling everywhere. Five times in the middle. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Three, I'm, I'm, I was gonna say, I was, I'm not already here, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I have two NPCs. Okay, whenever you, no. whenever, yeah, whenever you hear big guys out, you don't worry about any NPCs, you just be ready by that circle. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm also in the circle. In the circle. Last crossbow on the two. Last close bonus two. Oh, come on, let me through! Oh my god, dude. There's gonna be drones out. Did you finish four, disturbed? Alright, I got my EMP. Dump. Oh, it's in three. Everyone, 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 everyone. We got it. Everyone get out to cover. Two big guys. Big guy four. Big guy four. I need the help. I'm dying. Sure. I'm, I'm on my way over there. We got four. Three go help too. I'm trying to get Four's over there. Dead. I got one PCs as well. Yeah, there's drones. Down. Got the drones and PCs everything. Yeah, I just killed the drones right now. You got him, you got him. Clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. Cool. That was fucking close. <sighs> Alright, everybody, everybody get ammo. Now the team on this one, when they pull craft goes out, we're gonna go to the other side. Mm. Oops, so you're ready, and I'll stay here on the back side cleaning hands. I don't have a crossbow on the two. So the three are gonna yeah. do crossbow now. Yeah, three does crossbow now, which you guys should still be good. So just hold on to this, Bonzi. You ready for big guys? Because I'm some numbers soon. <laughs> three, three, yes, three, three, three. The guy on whoever's on three oh, circle shit. be ready. Alright. He's down. 
Doggone. Going in three, two, one. Get on. It's good that the dog died now and not fucking later. I just finished your yes. fucking arrow. I was shooting at me. Ellie, you were shooting fast, though. Poco, you're throwing a. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get the team go to the other side. I'm using my EMP. I see him, I see him. Everyone go over. Dane and King go over. Oh yeah, it's on the other side. My bad. I got two seconds. Yeah, I got one. my GMP uh, right now. Shit loads wrong. Oh, I almost ran into your red Pokla. Huh? Watch out, Pokemon. You... Oh. Circle. On to you. I'm not on one. One's dead. Everyone be ready. No, you don't, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's on two. Is it? It's yeah. a bleeder. It's on, it's on one, it's a bleeder. I want to say two. Oh, shit. Uh, the team took over. Right, I'm using my EMP now before that dog dies. Alright, now you can kill that dog. We still have some drones. It's almost dead. Right. Dog is dead. Shit. I'm not gonna... We're not gonna have Everyone any EMP. DPS. We're not gonna have any EMPs for now. It's okay. Everyone just focus DPS and take cover. You gotta get that half gone. Alright, I got EMP. Get those reses. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Stop that ammo. Whoa! Get karma! Need some help on two? Big yeah, guy on he's, two. He's on, on two. He's on two. He's on two. Three go help two. I'm helping one. We got two NPCs. We need to watch the NPCs. One's dead. Clean run? Yeah, clean up. Clean up. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's clean up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go for bush. Sorry about that disturbed, I was hoping I'm on my own one. I got yeah, it. Dog on two. Purple dog on two. I'm on my way back. Oh, I don't have him because ah. I don't have a race. Uh, Rakim? Rakim, you need to come get this. I'm gonna EMP the dog. Even, no, no, that's, no, that's no. Someone, someone needs to get him. Alright, dog's oh, EMP'd. I don't have a token. Rakim, shoot this ad. I got an EMP again in a, one second. I got him. You ready for big guys? Dogs. It's rid of the dog. Dog's dead. You ready for big dudes? I'm coming down for ammo. Big dude on two, I think. Big dude on two. Yeah, he's on two. Someone help too. We got a hand. One's dead. Two's down. Two's dead. Look. Everyone ready? Three, two. One, get on. All that we got um, add at the back. Focus on every, the add at the back. Everyone uh, on three, get a damage face. Do three battery. Yep, on it. 
Okay. Using my EMP. Oh, what the? the other side. Oh, shit, I'm EMP'd. Alright, I'm using my EMP. One and, four, one and four, get out of there. One and four, get out of there. I'm going, I'm going for Rakim. The, the burst, the burst, just go to one. I can overwatch if someone's there. Yeah, I'm helping four right now. Hold on. I'm helping a sec. I got naded. I just threw out a heal over there. We're going? If everyone's ready, if you want to clean up, call clean up. Clean up, clean up, clean up. No, 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 it's, it's too late. It's too, it's too late, too late, too late. It's okay, it's okay. Because this next one's damage phase, so if we kill it, we're gonna have big guys on computers as well. Purple dog. I'm going back up. I'm gonna move. Dog has no shield. There's a guy on the. I got him. He's a real guy. Alright, everyone be ready. Red bars are coming out. Is it a bleeder? Yep, it's a bleeder. Big guy four, big guy four, big guy four. Uh, all the one, focus that dog. Fuck, dude, I gotta make sure I'm kinda of far away from that dog. Boy's dead, everyone be ready. I didn't get hit by the EMP. Three, two, one, get on. I don't have a crossbow. God damn it, dude. Three. Yeah, got it. Alright, we'll go to the other side. We'll clean the other side. This is damage phase. Finish it out and damage it out. Is it EMP? Everyone to the corner. Shit, I'm getting shot by ads. So right here is going to be very crucial. This is the end. You have to break these consoles. So what I did was I switched to another LMG. You can either switch to an LMG that has steady handed or um, unhinged. But you do want to have two LMGs and this is why. Because you're not going to be putting out a lot of damage. So being able to keep that sustained amount of damage. As you can see he had a reload but I was just still shooting and I just switched to the next LMG. And it just helps a right, lot if you can have two LMGs on this part. One's done. GG.